Welcome back to your review for your semester one final for Algebra 1. Uh, as a reminder, your problem might not be problem 14 that looks like this, but either way, you're here, you're still looking at this problem, so this is probably the one you want to solve. Let's get it done. We are given the equation for slope, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And there's actually five different variables here. They're as saying, okay, here are your five different variables. Currently, we have m by itself. We want you to get y sub 2 or y2 by itself. Well, that's up here, right? Let's break this down a bit at a time. In order to get y sub 2 by itself, we're probably going to want to have to add y sub 1, right? Because it's, it's attached to this by subtraction. So we can add that to both sides. However, we can't add that to both sides because right now, all of this is being divided by this bottom piece. So I think probably our first step here is we want to get rid of all of that division at the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by x2 minus x1. We have division here, multiplication here. Those two will cancel each other out. Of course, properties of equations say that if you do something to one side, you better do that to the other side. This then gives me x2 minus x1 times m equals y2 minus y1. Now notice I dropped the parentheses that were around here because there's nothing else on this side. There's nothing else happening so we don't need parentheses to group this. I did not drop the parentheses on the left side because we need to show that all of this is multiplying times m. If you wanted to drop the parentheses on this side you'd actually have to distribute m inside uh, but I don't think I want to do that. Let's see what else I need to do here. I think to get y2 by itself, we still need to add y1 to both sides. And when we do that, we end up with y2 equals, so this is x2 minus x1 times m. We already had that, plus y sub 1. Then we go, OK, what answer does this match? And actually, none of them. I think we need to use a little bit of commutative property and rewrite this. Um, we'll notice. Oh, actually, it pretty much does match, huh? <laughs> uh, we'll notice that, yep, commutative property still. Uh, they have the m that's in front of this on each of them. Well, we should do that here. We're allowed to move multiplication in any order, so instead of x2 minus x1 times m, we can do m times x2 minus x1, and then keep the y1 at the end, and you'll see that that matches a.